I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. So we're looking a, a bit smarter than usual today because uh, we've been to my brother's kids' christening, which is my niece. Niece and nephew, yeah. My niece and, and nephew's I'm christening. And I'm taller because I'm actually wearing heels. So. Yeah, she's got high heels on. I've actually got trousers and shoes on and just got so, a white shirt, no tie. Nearly as tall as you. Just a little bit casual. But yeah, I was really worried. Well, I still am quite worried if this video is going to get out in time because... Uh, it's meant to come out in literally a couple of hours, so I'll best hurry up. Yeah. Um, we've edited all the clips. We just need to do the intro and outro, so I don't see why this won't be out today. But for today's episode, sorry, I need to get into that. For today's episode, we are going to be looking at the Monocentropus Balfouri, and we're going to be doing a communal feed. But I'm not going to say too much more because the video explains everything. So with that, I think we should go down to the table. Yeah. Let's show you this Balfouri communal. It's hard to believe that it's been nine months since our last communal feed for this enclosure. And even more surprising, it's been 20 months since we combined the two Monocentropus Balfouri communals to create this one. Since then, we've seen some incredible growth and development. Several more males have matured, with a few being rehomed, and we've still got about two males left inside. I've even seen the males pair with females, but as I've spoken about in previous episodes, while it can happen, it's unlikely, and I'd say even more unlikely due to the space within. And when I say it's unlikely to happen, I mean unlikely to get an egg sac. The, the pairing part is the easy part. The uh, getting the egg sac, that's the hard part within a communal. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, this will be the last ever communal feed for this tank. Over time, the substrate has started to develop mould, likely from mist in the webs along with a combination of old molts, bits of uneaten food from previous feeds and general waste has just created a breeding ground for it. And if I'm honest, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a dead Balfouri or two buried deep down in those tunnels. Something I've encountered in previous communals is a natural part of the process, but it's a sign that this enclosure has run its course, and for me, the most logical thing to do is get them out, recount them, and rehouse them. As we take the lid off, we're immediately greeted by some of the Balfouri inside. You can see a few in the tunnels, peeking out, while others are out and about exploring their home. This communal feed will be spread across three different sessions, all within a week, but all in this video. The reason? We don't want to overwhelm the enclosure with too many feeders at once. To me, I like to think this way is ensuring everyone gets a fair chance at a meal but overall the amount of feeders that get added is rather big enough for each Balfouri to have a few. And by the next morning, all the feeders are gone. In previous enclosures, I've done it differently where there's feeders left for days after. But I find this way to be much better for this communal.
One thing I always like to do during a feed is miss the webs before adding feeders, or even during the process. This is how the Balfouri will drink. On top of this, we would also give the communals water between feeds. With the next setup, I might bring back a designated drinking area that's less likely to be webbed over. Although, I know how these guys love to web everything in sight, but I'm thinking in an open area, with nothing really to web, it could work. With the locusts being introduced, you can see the Balfouri spring into action, capturing their prey with precision. It's moments like this that remind me why communal keeping is so satisfying. The sight of them feasting together is a reminder of why we keep these amazing creatures. Scrap the feeding, the sight of just seeing them all together is why we keep them. The love I have for this species is just unreal. I still remember all them years back at the beginning of the hobby. I said to Craig, I'd love if there was, you know, like a communal species, even more a species that webs massively. And within that day, a day, he came back to me with a photo and it was the Monocentropus Balfouri. I ordered two lots of five and I combined them which then got combined down the line into this one. This journey that these alone have gone on has taught me the knowledge I needed for this species, hand on experience over the years and it's a special communal and that's even more of a reason that they need a new home. Here's a quick look at various parts of the feed in fast motion. And even in fast motion, you can still appreciate the behaviours and interactions within the group. It's a fascinating glimpse into the world of tarantula communal keeping.
And with that, we come to the end of this communal's journey. It's been an incredible experience watching them grow and thrive together in this enclosure. And as always, each communal teaches us something new, whether it's about their behavior, their needs, or how to improve for next time. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this communal. As I said, it's very special to me. But for now, this is it for this one. The Monas and Troppers Balfouri have been on one ultimate journey here within Grindler's Creatures. And I'm excited for what's next. So I guess that wraps the video up here guys. I've said everything I needed to say. Like I said, I can't wait to see the journey for these, where it's gonna go next. But if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we upload next. Don't forget, down in the description, there's a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. And now for the extra part. If you're after some enclosures, make sure you go check out arachnospace.com. They uh, sell tarantula cribs here in the UK and we have an affiliate code, which is Grindler10. So make sure you go check that out. Put it up here. Yeah, we'll Grindler put it up 10. here. But if you want some enclosures, make sure you use that code and get yourself 10% off and it helps us as well. Helps us with the channel, get more enclosures and uh, just progress in this channel. So yeah, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's used it so far. It's all about spreading them tarantula cribs across the UK because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still amazed by them. But anyway, before I start blabbering on as always, Mr. Grindler's done here. So is Mrs. Grindler. And so are all our creatures. And so is this tank for the very last time until the new one. But yeah, the next video you see it is going to be a rehash of these and I cannot wait to show you guys. But yeah, have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace. Bye.